Hi there, Jennifer Elizabeth Masters here. And uh, Star West Perry had asked me to talk about forgiveness earlier this week. And I thought that today being Sunday would be a perfect day for a, a little uh, short video about forgiveness. And what, what's the purpose of it? What does it matter? Hi there, Lynn. How are you? Nice to see you. Okay, so so forgiveness is something that releases us from the burden of shame, guilt, regret, remorse, all the things that go with the whatever the event is that upset us. So let's just say that uh, you were raped and and so you look at that situation you go well why would i want to forgive my rapist why why would i want to do that so it is not excusing the behavior it is not excusing the rape but what it does the the power of forgiveness is that it releases us the person the victim releases the person from the burden of it and so rather than dragging around suffering, dragging around the shame, the remorse, I wish this didn't happen, it's, it cuts the energy like a knife. And it, it eliminates a lot of the cords and the hooks that, that went into us. And so I, I will tell you a story about someone that I coached through forgiveness. Her husband had had an affair and she said, you know, he doesn't deserve my forgiveness. You know, he cheated on me. He was a bastard and I can't forgive him. And why would I want to forgive him anyway? And in a matter of six months, I watched her put 80 pounds, 80 pounds, eating, eating the forgiveness alive. Basically, she was stuffing the emotions of it and just she just kept on stuffing and stuffing and stuffing food in her face it was like she couldn't help herself and that 80 pounds could be the difference between a heart attack and living life fully it could be the difference between and and the foods that she was eating were, were not healthy either so so when we sit in unforgiveness I want to give you the flip side of it when we sit in unforgiveness it hurts us. It's a huge burden and weight, not only on our shoulders, but on our heart and on our entire body. So there is a, a phrase, it is an anonymous quote. It is unforgiveness is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. So if we sit in unforgiveness of someone else, we don't forgive them. It's hurting us, not them. They don't care if we forgive them or not. They don't know if we've forgiven them or not. But if we do not forgive, it is hurting us. It, it is harm and it's like throwing acid on ourselves. It's like it, it, it burns us up, it, it's not healthy. And so letting go, um, I had lots of trauma. And, and part of how I healed it was to forgive all those people that perpetrated, all the people that, that hurt or harmed me, all the abusers. I forgave each and every single one of them. And I did it with the Ho'oponopono prayer. The Ho'oponopono prayer is a kahuna healing prayer. It's been used for hundreds of years by kahuna healers in Hawaii and they've used it for something as severe as rape or even murder and so it it does lighten the soul it lifts that burden from you and you stop dragging all that pain around with you so forgiveness does not excuse the behavior what it does is it releases us from carrying the burden for the other person. I hope that makes sense. So what is the Kahuna Healing Prayer? 
and and I've heard it taught incorrectly. I'm just going to give it to you the way it is used by the Kahuna healers. You forgive yourself first. You bow your head. You can put your hand on your chest. You think about yourself and you say, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. So bowing your head, taking a deep breath. Breathing in, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. So we're doing it twice for you. And then you think about the other person, the person who hurt or harmed you, even if it's a perception that they hurt or harmed you. So the same thing, bow your head. You can put your hand on your thymus or on your heart. Close your eyes. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. Take a deep breath and repeat the prayer again. So we do the prayer until you can do it over and over and over. I gave this, this forgiveness prayer to my daughter. She was going through a really tough time with her dad and she sat for 40 minutes and she just repeated it slowly, repeated it slowly, repeated it slowly. And eventually she tapped into the emotion of it. She cried, she had a release and she really resolved and forgave her father. And I was guided, you know, for her to do this forgiveness prayer. It was 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 months before he died. So I highly recommend that you do the prayer right now while you're thinking about it and do it slowly, do it with meaning. You can. Connect to your inner child. Look your inner child in the eyes. Close your eyes. Envision your inner child and say it to your inner child. Forgive your child, your inner child, for all that has happened to you your entire life. I have more of this process that I give to my clients, but that is enough for you to get started. It will be very powerful for you. I hope this helps. I'm Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. And do check out my website, jenniferelizabethmasters.com. And I have a free download. It is uh, Transmuting Worry. It is right at the top of the website. You click on that. It's a powerful free gift to shift anxiety and worry to help you be worry-free. I hope you enjoy it. Much love and enjoy the rest of your day.